they're going to close this incision. The doctor wants to put a drain in there. Obviously, they're going to be that gaping open, right? So, and of course, this one is closed. It's going to be like closed. But on a separate stab wound, if this was inside the peritoneum, the doctor makes an incision here, puts in a tonsil all the way in, and grabs the drain and pulls it out of here, right? Okay. But in a, in a hemovac, the doctor goes to the, like this, or the bottom layer and pushes it through like this, up to the outside of the skin. You grab a coker or the assistant, pull this out, be careful. This stays inside, sometimes they cut this in half, this stays inside the wound, you cut this off, this is gonna go in the sharp, it's disposable, right? Okay, and then they close the incision and it's exteriorized like this, but they didn't make a stab wound because it comes with its own truck car. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So then once you cut this off, this end is gonna go in here. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This end is gonna go on one of this. Now the reason why this has two of them, because sometimes they put two drains inside, okay? One, one reservoir, but two drains, then you would cut the tip of both of these off, but if they're using only one, you cut one end off only, and then this is gonna be cut off, so this end right here is gonna be, you're gonna stick in there. You see that? And then this is gonna connect to the hemovac, like this. Once the incision is closed, this is coming, it's attached to this, right? You squeeze it, you put this thing in here, the little nipple thingy, and just like the JP, it's gonna stay collapsed and it's start filling with blood. And this one holds 400 cc's. All can right. Can picture it? Mm -hmm. okay. So that's that choker I was telling you about. So you wanna have that ready to go. There's also a smaller one, so uh, one eighth, one eighth of an inch in diameter. Depends on the size of the wound. They would use this for like a hip, like total hip replacement or total knee even. Okay, so that's the drain. Comes with its own troll card. So now you know, 400 cc's, 100 cc's. Okay, um, <coughs> the tracheostomy tube, we don't have one, but we talked about it. Remember the parts, right? Everybody understands that? Mm -hmm. That primary cannula is the, the outer tube, and they have the inner, cannula and the obturator to put it into the trachea, right? Got okay. it. Okay, this is your chest tube, chest tube trocar. So if they're doing open thoracotomy, you don't need this, they'll just stick it inside, right? If they're doing a blind uh, chest tube placement, like an ER, they'll use this to put it inside, because it's because small incision, mm -hmm. right? And it connects to a pleurovac, so underwater seal drainage system, and it's connected to the tube that disconnects the tube just to connect to the patient, this one connects to suction. And you're gonna fill it with a little funnel back here, and the text will show you where the line goes. You understand that? And then, if the doctor wants to connect it, you disconnect the yank car you've been using, because the incision is being closed, and you put it onto this, the suction, and then this hangs on your mail stand just temporarily until the patient leaves the room. Then it's gonna travel below the patient's level. When they get to the recovery room, it's gonna be sitting on the floor. It has a little stack and they'll keep con they'll connect it to suction and recovery. Okay, and that's pretty much it, basically it. The only thing we're gonna go over, there's um, a colostomy backup there, can you get that please?